This is Twit. Should I go over and show this? Uh... I'd love to see okay. this. A I'm gaming go Chromebook. Yeah. Who knew? Who knew? I knew. You knew. You because, knew about uh, it. Padre brought it to us. But Ace just sent it to us. And I thought, well, let's try it out. All right. Now, this, my friends, is a Chromebook, which is kind of amazing. Chromebooks, traditionally, we recommend them because they're inexpensive. This is not. It's more like 600 bucks. Uh, and they're very secure and very simple. Basically, it's the Chrome browser in a, in a PC. But Acer has, has something else in mind. This is the 516 GE. And normally on the Chromebook, the things that, in order to make them inexpensive, the things you give up, you know, are a quality trackpad, a quality keyboard, and most importantly, a quality display. Well, this is a heck of a display. 2560 by 1600. It's 120 hertz. So that's one of the things gamers want is a high refresh rate. It's one of the things typically you don't find in a Chromebook. Uh, it also has a gaming keyboard. You can't see it very well in the studio with multicolored lights and it's glows and it shifts. And you can kind of give away that, that, that it's a gamer laptop because the AWSD keys are highlighted in white. <laughs> Those are the keys you use for movement, typically, in a game. Uh, not for me. I'm a lefty. I always remap it to the arrow keys. But So this is, for me, this is almost a little, a little uh, right-hander bias, in, in, my, in my opinion. You also get, they say, very good speakers. They call them force-canceling speakers. I would call them crap tinny speakers but okay you know it, nomenclature we can we can disagree it's interesting because we do have ethernet on this in fact there's a full-size ethernet jack look at that and it's 2.5 gigabits so again this is designed for somebody who wants to do not just hardcore gaming but hardcore streaming gaming right and that's the key on this even though this does have uh, and you can get various processors in it. This does have an Intel i5 processor. When you're gaming on this thing, you're not actually gaming on this thing. It's designed to use the, the cloud gaming services like Microsoft's Xbox. Or in, in this case, I'm going to run uh, GeForce Now. Let me see. Is it not responding to my my queries? GeForce Now is uh, is kind of fun. Do you have this screen? Oh, you do. Look at that. You see it, but I don't. Because I am not mirroring. Now I'm going to have to figure out how this thing works. Battery life on it is amazing. Ethernet speed is amazing. The screen is amazing. I have to say uh, it is very fast. I, I am able to play uh, games quite quickly. Here it is, displays. Yay, mirror built in display. Well, that wasn't so hard, Leo. Well, you're not too bright, are you? I mean, this is a pretty uh, feature-packed Chromebook, right? Well, I mean, it is. If I, uh, if one of the things I can do on this is uh, launch Ubuntu, I put. <laughs> <laughs> of course, <laughs> I've got Emacs on it. I mean, it's uh, you know, you can you can actually uh, run Linux on Chromebooks these days. Is it a like? Is it a, an official? Is it a blessed Chromebook, Leo? With all this extra stuff, it yeah. almost feels like it steps outside. Oh of no, what it's a, a real uh, legit, you know, Google approved Chromebook. Let me plug cool. in. This is actually kind of cool that I could do this. Full size Ethernet. Now I am on a ten. What, what is there? What is our switch here? Just one. Can we get a faster switch for Leo? <laughs> Editors have the 10 gigabit. We don't here. Uh, so, but you know what? It's fine for uh, streaming games like uh, GeForce Now. So let's launch the GeForce Now. What did I say? I was going to play Sons of the Forest. Yeah, <laughs> Daughters of Liberty. Yeah. <laughs> so this is going to this is loading on a on a NVIDIA RTX GPU in the cloud. You have to have the game on Steam for this particular game. So it'll let you connect with your Steam um, uh, account. It also lets you connect with your EA account, your good old games account. Should we play a little Sons of the Forest? Let's see. Let's so continue so we don't just do it cutscene. Of course, the point of streaming gaming is most of the processing is happening on the other end. So can't couldn't you just play this on a, a low Chromebook? You can, and that was kind of the point of streaming. So where you get an advantage here is if you're playing the high-end version of a game like this, which supports RTX graphics. Now I can 
use the RTX graphics, especially... I guess I don't have a game saved, so I'll start a new game. Uh, let's play Peaceful, shall we? <laughs> this is a very, in my opinion, a very hard survival game. Uh, because if you're playing a high-end game, you want high screen refresh rate. Got it. That's one area where you excel. The 2.5 gigahertz uh, uh, Ethernet, another area where you might want that if you're playing streaming gaming. Of course, more bandwidth, lower latency is a good thing. I love it that there's an Ethernet on here and a full-size HDMI on here. They really designed this for, a unique, I think, a unique audience, frankly. Um, it's, uh, it's, you're right, it's not the typical Chromebook audience, but what if you could get a gaming PC capable of RTX performance... For 600 bucks, yeah. it's also a great productivity tool. I mentioned you can be running Linux, but you can also be running uh, Android applications. So this is a cutscene, so it's not a it's not a great demonstration. But what's, what's the... Okay, let me see if I can skip this. Actually, maybe... Sometimes a nice escape button. You know, let's just, oh, yeah, it does seem like you're playing, though. Yeah, it feels like I'm uh, looking out the window. Wow, look at that. Uh, the shine on those headphones on the chair. Yeah, they're shiny. It's... It's uh, it's it's the, somewhat pre-rendered, I would guess, because I am, I'm able to look around a little bit. The plot of this is uh, that you are stuck in a forest. Okay. Oh, uh, and you're the son of someone. Presumably. No, the game is the son of someone. Oh, got it. Yeah, and <laughs> and so we can look at our assignment. I love the name Virginia Puffton. I don't know who she is, but we we've <laughs> oh, got to find her. Of the Puftons. Of the Puffton clan. Yes, she is of the Puftons. Barbara and Edward Puffton. Ooh. Yes, they're wealthy and they've become lost. He's the CEO of Puff Comp. And you're the son Puffton who's looking no, for No, I'm the a soldier. Forest? I don't understand where the Me son of and, the forest uh, fish comes Me and Fisheye uh, and Kelvin are going a searching for uh, these guys. I guess we're going to have to wait and uh, Let's see. So the goal is not to find the son of the forest, I see. Okay. No. The, the game is the sun. <laughs> Fight <gasps> demons. Oh, obviously, I've got oh, problems. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh Uh-oh. Oh, uh -oh. Somebody shot us. Out. Oh, no. We're going down. I know who shot you. You do? Yeah, it was the son of the forest. <laughs> stop it. Just stop it. I'm sorry. There is a, uh, a a lady in this game with three legs and three arms. What? Yeah, oh, it's so it's kind of spooky. It's spooky. It's creepy. Yeah. Oh no. Yeah, yeah he fell. Bye, guy. And there go your meals ready to uh -oh, eat. Oh, I'm under I'm underwater. What am I gonna do? Break the glass, Leo. Break uh, the glass. Really? Okay. Can I do it? With oh, oh no. no! I can't help you, sir. Sorry, uh, can pal. you go on the other side of the helicopter? <laughs> hey, just no? try to go around. Oh, there he goes. Oh, oh now oh. you now you put your fist down. <laughs> yeah, now I try to break the window. You know, let's do it with my boots. That's the best way to do it. E, I'm hitting E. Slam it. <laughs> e, e, e. Oh, oh there goes the door. I was fooled by that F4 joke once at, at <laughs> years and years ago. There's somebody in our chat room. Was giving out uh, a dev null uh, Linux tip that would erase your home directory. Don't listen to uh, commands issued in the chat room, okay? Yes. Please, I beg of you, whatever you're doing. Oh, I, did you make it? So I don't know if you can hear this. Yeah, I made it. Hold on a second, it's loading. Oh, okay. You I can hear the sound okay? Oh, it's coming through HDMI. Yeah, I can hear okay. the sound. It sounds great. Oh, well, that's rude. Wait a minute. Hey, knock it off, hey, buddy. Shiny jacket. Uh oh, you know. that's the guy who shot us, I'm guessing. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Knocked out. So the audio coming out of the speakers, even though it, it looks like a Mac, you know, the Mac Pro speakers, MacBook Pro speakers are so good, so rich. And these look like those, but they're not. But they don't sound like They them. don't. But you know what? You're going to wear headphones because you're a real gamer. Exactly. So who cares? And for the price, I mean, that's great that there are right. speakers that it can so be. So now, like now we're playing. There's very little hesitation you're able to run around. I'm sorry, I had a saved game, but obviously uh, it wasn't saved properly. Now I'm supposed to look in all of these things and wander around. But this will give it you an idea. It looks really good. Yeah, yeah. It's using an RTX in the cloud, mm -hmm. which is amazing. Uh, a uh, NVIDIA GPU in the cloud. Now, you pay a lot for the monthly fee, but this, this Chromebook comes with a four-month uh, high-end NVIDIA GeForce Now uh, subscription. So you can at least uh, try it out and see if you... If you like it, I actually don't have the high-end subscription at home. I'm fine without it. But this is 4K capable, and we're getting a four. This is a 4K screen, high refresh rate. 
We're going up uh, in the mountains. Really, I should have opened my inventory, taken out the uh, the axe here in my uh, emergency pack. Left mouse open. I guess I... Oh, was that the right mouse? I guess I should have uh, opened that sucker. Uh, look, what's in there? Oh, there's a... Looks like a... Uh, uh, anyway. It's not gonna. It's not. I'm not gonna last long. Let's just put it that way. I don't get the axe and the knife and all that stuff. The shadows and the reflection look all at look that. quite good. Okay. So for a gaming PC, this is good. Yeah. I'm impressed. If you have enough bandwidth and you're low enough latency, you certainly can play a high-end game. This is a AAA title, brand new, very hot. Um, they sold two million copies of this game last weekend. Very, very hot right now. It's 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 actually in beta. Uh, it's impressive. HDMI 2.1, yeah, so you can go drive a nice 4K screen at a high refresh rate. Wi-Fi 6E, so if you're not close to an Ethernet port, you can at least get the high-speed Wi-Fi on here. Uh, I think, in, in general, this is a really nice system. It is, you know, I'll let you handle this a little bit. It feels a little cheesy. It's a plastic body. It looks aluminum. It's not. Um, oh, that's not... Oh, this is brushed aluminum it. here, but... Well, maybe it's plastic. It's plastic. Yeah, it's plastic. Uh, it also, like many Chromebooks, it feels a little light. Uh, I wouldn't say the trackpad is as good as, I mean, look, I'm comparing it to a MacBook, so I probably shouldn't do that. It's not as good as a MacBook, but it's very good for a Chromebook. Keyboard has a little bounce. It's a little bit uh, not ideal, but not terrible. Uh, this is certainly as good a Chromebook as you're going to get, even for the $1,000 models of Chromebooks. Uh, I would say this is comparable. Lots of speed with an i5. Now, of course, an i5 is going to cost you more. You can get this up to 1200 bucks easily. This is the Acer Chromebook 516GE. Remind me, does it have fans? Oh, it has fans. Many yeah. fans, yeah. It has to have fans because it's an Intel processor. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> uh, the hinge is good. It's a nice-looking device. If you, if you if it's gaming that's on your mind, if that's what you want to do, you can. It's a very nice gaming machine. But, of course, it also does everything else a Chromebook does, including go to Starbucks. So I don't, I don't know why, but some reason... Google's decided, it, or maybe it's maybe maybe this is an Acer thing. It's decided to put a Starbucks that is odd logo in my uh, in my menu. I do have a Fastmail logo, probably because I logged in. Um, it's a you know this is decent, and you you have the Play Store, so you can you can absolutely load uh, Android stuff on here. In fact, uh, the GeForce Now is an app. It's it, so one of the things that's changed a lot with with uh, Chromebooks is it runs apps. This is an app. This is this is not running in Chrome. And you see there's some other apps we can install, including Discord, Peacock, HBO Max. Uh, I suspect an app running on a Chromebook is still pretty much not a standalone app. The Android apps certainly are. The Linux apps certainly are. But I would say, you know, if you're running an app, it's probably a Chrome app, right? Remember mm -hmm. those Chrome apps? Um, still pretty nice and there's some there's some fun things you can do lots of great lots of great games in geforce now or xbox cloud or ea i'm gonna say thumbs up if you want a chromebook and you do want to do some gaming you're paying the price for a little uh gaming machine but this is this is pretty darn impressive and uh, so is sons of the forest i'm gonna die any minute now i know it <laughs> something falls out of the tree and just yeah. takes it out so uh, we thank Acer for sending us this. So, because I, I was interested in, well, how good can a Chromebook uh, be? And I'm, you know, I'm pretty impressed. Uh, but we're going to send it back tomorrow. So thank you, Acer, for that. This episode of Tech Break is brought to you by ACI Learning. Audit, IT, and cybersecurity skills become outdated in about 18 months. If you run an IT, cybersecurity, or audit department, or lead a learning and development group. ACI Learning can craft an effective, affordable training solution to keep your team future-proof. Visit go.acilearning.com slash twit to elevate your talent.